In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own kill jar so you guys can preserve insects on the go while you're in the field. So first off, let's talk about what you're going to need to make a kill jar. You're going to need a jar. You can use plastic or you can use glass. I personally prefer plastic because it's much less likely to break and in some parks you can't take glass jars because they're worried that it's going to break and cause some harm so usually plastic is probably the safest bet but you can use glass if you want. You're also going to need uh, some measuring cups, a spoon, you're going to need some water, mm. and uh, you're also going to need some plaster of some sort, plaster of Paris. I think this is perfect plaster. Um, it doesn't matter what the brand is, but you need plaster as well. And then I have also got a NIOSH approved respirator just because I like to be safe and I encourage you to be safe and careful whenever you're working with different types of chemicals because that's important too. So let's start making this thing. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to mix up the powder from the plaster with the amount of water as indicated on the package which I'm doing here and make sure that you follow the label when I did this I made sure to wear a respirator because I wanted to be safe and follow the label because whenever you're working with chemicals you just want to make sure you're careful so after you've mixed that up in there you want to make sure it's down there at the bottom and very well mixed and then you're going to let it dry. So that's the first thing we've got to do. So I left these overnight and as you can see, they've pretty well dried out. I'm going to take a paper towel, wipe off some of this stuff here on the edges, and then I think we'll just about be done so I can show you how to use it. Just gonna get that stuff off of the sides just so we can see inside. I don't think it'll hurt anything. It just doesn't look as nice. There we go, that's an easier way to just kind of poke it until it comes off. That's seeming to kind of get it off a little bit better. With the glass, obviously, you could not do that. Close enough, I'm just going to dump these, dump that stuff in the garbage. All right, that's about as clean as I'm going to get them for right now. But as you can see, they're still a little bit stuck on there, but it'll just kind of go away as we go. Now that those are pretty well dried and pretty well cleaned off, I'm going to show you how to use them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some so what you're going to do is you're going to take some nail polish remover here and then you're going to just pour that into the bottom and I'll kind of show you. You should see some kind of bubbling. Just about that much. You just kind of want to get the surface covered and what should happen is the plaster should absorb the nail polish remover or the acetone that you use and then you want to take a paper towel put that in and then you're going to put the lid on and you'll leave it there um, you might want to push paper towel as far down as you can that's usually helpful that way then there's more room for insects paper towel will help to kind of hold some of the chemical and keep it away from the insects but also gives them something to grab onto so see it hasn't quite absorbed it all in there so a little bit's going into the paper towel but hopefully it'll just kind of absorb into the plaster if you leave this for about five minutes then the whole thing will be charged and ready to go and then you can start putting insects in it so that you can preserve them for a collection Depending on the size of the beetles or the things you're working with it'll take just a couple minutes for them to stop moving and you will have insects that are ready to be pinned. The reason I made this video is because I thought I need to go back and redo some of those basic videos that I did in the first place. If you've seen some of my first videos, you'll see that I did them in a very dramatic, goofy way. I decided I think I need to go back and do some of those over in a more serious and straightforward way, just some short, quick videos that talk about each topic. If you agree with that, let me know in the comments. If you think that's not necessary anymore, then let me know that too so that I can make videos that will help you guys learn more about collecting insects. And make sure and like, subscribe, and stay tuned next time where big adventures start small.